Hey medicos, we are glad to launch snapshot lecture series in which we are going to discuss image based questions on each subjects. We will also post these questions on Instagram. It is a small initiative from the medicos. Just give your 5 minutes every day and get excellence in image based questions. So here we have our first episode. So in this episode, we are going to discuss image based questions on medicine. Our first question, name the structures marked with A to F alphabet. Let's zoom out this image. So here we have the first labeling that is anastomosis. Look over here, B, yes, this is the left coronary artery. At right side, we have right coronary artery labeled with C. Name the structure which labeled with D. Yes, at left side, here we have the left circumflex artery. What about E? Any guesses? Yes, this is the posterior interventricular artery. And what about F? Yeah, this is left anterior descending artery. So these are the structures of this diagram. Actually, we are starting with basics one. So our next question with same image. Involvement of which following artery leads to inferior wall MI? So, you have any guesses? Yes, it is the involvement of right coronary artery. Here we have the right coronary artery. The involvement of right coronary artery going to lead the inferior wall MI. Do you know which part of the heart is going to supplied by right coronary artery? Yes, right coronary artery supplies right ventricle let's talk about our next question which is based on ecg the question is image shows which cardiac condition let's zoom out this image so this is the ecg right so what are the characteristic finding which you can observe in this ecg look carefully yes in this you can see here we have the widespread concave st elevation and PR depression. So this is the characteristic finding which can be seen in acute pericarditis. What is acute pericarditis? It is the inflammation of pericardium secondary to infection, localized injury or systemic disorders producing characteristic chest pain, dyspnea and serial ECG changes. Okay. So this is the definition of acute pericarditis. Let's talk about our next question which is also based on ECG. Which ECG sign is seen in this image? Let's zoom this ECG. Okay, so here we have our ECG. Let's focus on the ST segment. Yeah. Now what are you observing here? Yes, you can see there is a down sloping of the ST segment and the T wave rises above the baseline. So this effect is generally caused by digoxin therapy. Digoxin can cause these effects. Okay. Now, this effect is called as inverted tick mark, hockey stick or Salvador Dali mustache sign. Who is Salvador Dali? He was a famous painter known for his mustache more than his painting. Now I want you to remember how to differentiate between digoxin effect and digoxin toxicity. ECG wise okay. In digoxin therapy you can see there is a sloping differentiation of ST segment. But remember here we have the T wave which is rises above the baseline and in digoxin toxicity you can see same the sloping depression of ST segment. However, in this case T wave will not be above the baseline. Look over this image T wave is below the baseline. It will either be flattened or be inverted. In this question we have the hockey stick sign or Salvador Dali's mustache sign. Okay. Let's talk about our last question. Hockey stick sign on MRI seen in which type of disease or in which disease? So let's look over this MRI. You can see here we have the hyper intense signal involving the pulvinar and dorsomedial thalamic nuclei bilaterally on flare and it's look like the shape of hockey stick. It is generally seen in the variant of Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. 
Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for next episode on this image based questions. Thank you.